Hello everyone and welcome to video 9 from chapter 1 on the Windows 7 series. In this video tutorial you will be learning how to manage the system tray and applications on the system tray. You will also be learning how to change the time. Okay, so the system tray is situated at the bottom right hand side of the screen. It's where your time and hidden applications run. So, in the system tray you may have antivirus pieces of software such as Avast and also virtual drive manager, manager such as Power ISO. You may also have drivers such as my Intel Rapid Store technology, my mouse driver and my audio driver. By default you should have the action center on Windows 7. This tells you the current state of your computer. So, at the moment I've got two error messages saying Windows Defender needs to scan your computer and it wants me to set backup. So if I open Action Center, I can change how my messages display. So, maintenance, set backup, your files are not being backed up. So I can turn off messages about Windows backup. I can then close that and when I hover over again the backup thing, the backup message will not be there. On laptops, you will also see this battery symbol. From here, you can manage power plans, but these will be told in later tutorials. This is your internet connection icon. So this tells you your signal strength to your internet connection if you are connecting wirelessly, or obviously if you're connecting Ethernet. It will just have a computer with a little plug sign at the bottom of it. Okay, these are your speakers. So from here, if you single click, you can manage how loud your speakers are. And if you want to mute them. You can also manage other things like system sounds, speakers, and the volume for specific pieces of software. So Camtasia Studio. You can also manage time by simply clicking down here on the clock and then you've got to click change date and time settings and then change date and time. From there you can change the date, the month by navigating through these arrows and the year. So all I want to do now is just go from 2010 to 2019 and 2011 and then May. Go back one to April and click on the 19th which is the current date today. To edit the clock all you have to do is click on the section you wish to edit so the hour and then you just got to use these arrows to navigate. You can also type the what time it actually is by just erasing it and typing 19. The same applies with the minutes and the seconds. Okay, you can also change your time zone, so either UTC plus 1 or UTC minus 1, but since I live in the UK, I'm going to stay at London, uh, the UTC time area. You can check if it automatically adjusts the clock for daylight saving time, and I've already checked that because I want it to. You can also check notify me when the clock changes. I guess this is handy for when we have to change the clocks forward or back. You can also add additional clocks. So if I click show this clock and I do, I don't know, anyone, West Central Africa, which is plus one, and press apply. When I hover over this, sorry, when I hover over it, you can see clock one time is 1956. Okay, it isn't configured at the moment, I know. That's because uh, I do not allow the connection to the internet through the clock. The clock also displays here when you click on it. I don't really want to have that clock there, so I'm just going to untick it and press, press apply. You can change the way it gets time from the internet. So if I change settings, I can synchronise it with an internet time server. So if I want to synchronise it with any of these listed servers, I can. So 
So, unable to start the Windows time service. This is because I currently don't have connection to the internet through this service. Okay. That is how you manage the system tray. Thanks for watching guys. Uh, don't forget we do put a lot of time and effort into these video tutorials. So please rate, comment and subscribe.